Tieno. NAC Kenya, one of the constituents parties of the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition, led by Raila Odinga's 2022 presidential running mate, Martha Karua, has announced its intention to exit the coalition, citing an untenable stay due to what it called prevailing political developments. This exit being the very first result of the ODM-UDA partnership that has seen the nomination of four key ODM officials to serve in President William Ruto's cabinet. Even though ODM still denies having entered into a working agreement with Ruto, the nominations are sending ripples within the coalition. We begin tonight with NTV senior reporter Ibrahim Karanja. NAC Kenya leader says in a letter to Azimio La Umoja, One Kenya Coalition Secretary General Junet Mohammed, and signed by NAC Kenya Secretary General Asha Bashir, our stay in Azimio La Umoja, One Kenya Coalition is not tenable due to the prevailing political developments. As NAC Kenya, by way of this letter, we are giving notice to exit the coalition as stipulated in the exit close or closes in the coalition agreement. This exit by a party led by no less than Raila Odinga's 2022 presidential running mate laying bare the tremors in Azimio caused by ODM's dalliance with Ruto and more so the nomination of four of its key members to serve in Ruto's cabinet. <laughs> Nominations that saw a hurried convening of a meeting of members of the constituent parties Thursday led by Wiper leader and coalition co-principal Kalonzo Musioka. Cabinet nominee for cooperatives Wycliffe Oparanya showed up at the meeting briefly before leaving, brewing speculations about what might have transpired in his brief presence here. Moments into the meeting, an unexplained exit of other coalition leaders present happened, one after the other, from Professor George Ojakoya to PNU leader Peter Munya, then followed by former minister Rafael Tuju. And when they came out to make a statement, their usual tough stance in recent days played out again, denying any attempts to work with Ruto. Is we are not interested. And if you want to put it in the first person singular, I am not interested. A source who spoke to NTV on the sidelines of the meeting said Oparanya's presence was to convey a message that the door was open for the leaders to grab the two remaining positions, that of Cabinet Secretary for the East Africa Community and Assals and that of Attorney General. A scramble that may explain the fallout of the meeting and the premature exits of some of the leaders. Nobody has offered any position to me or to Wiper. That thing about Attorney General is a mirage. Uh, and I want you to, I may be senior counsel, which is okay, maybe that's the attraction. But this guy has been vice president of the republic, and he has been minister many, many portfolios. Do you expect him surely to go and serve Ruto as Attorney General? <laughs> as Miwa has already taken a position, and our position is with the people of Kenya, it's with the Gen Z's, and the millennials who have paid the ultimate price, not positions from a failing regime. We will not join a sinking ship. For those who wish to join, it is their choice. Okay. That is not as mere position. Jama ya kufuja upinzani ni jama ambayo luto alianza mapema sana. Na kanyakua ile kachama ilikuwa inaitua UDM. Wale ambao wanatafuta safari, wanatafuta barabara ya kurudi hapa kwa sababu Huko imekuwa jangwa. Denying us the majority. Na ilikuwa tu kwa kikisha kwamba hatuna wingi wa wabunge kwa bunge. Banda hayo alifamia jubili. Na alikuwa nafikiri sisi tutafunga vilago tuende kwake. Tugali hapa. Meanwhile, the ODM party whose two deputy party leaders, its leader of minority in the National Assembly and its chairman have found solace in President Ruto's embrace, made yet another statement with party leader Raila Odinga maintaining that no coalition agreement had been entered between the party and the ruling UDA party and that the party was anticipating the crafting of clear terms of engagements based on issues raised. Odinga says that while we extend our best wishes to the nominees and trust that they will contribute positively to national development, we continue to advocate for a national engagement under the conditions we have previously outlined 
as compensation to the families of the victims of extrajudicial executions and persons injured by the state since last year. The release of all persons in custody and termination of all cases related to protests since last year and the prosecution of policemen involved in shooting to kill or main protesters. Beyond the current test, the coalition will soon walk the path of replacing the House leadership with Wandai and Mbadi's imminent exits, the position of leader of minority in the National Assembly and that of chairperson of the all-important Public Accounts Committee respectively will both be vacant. Ibrahim Karanja, NTV.